Hi there. Stickers. Uh, I've decided at this moment in time, rather than put stickers on the back wall, I'll continue to put them on the lathe. Uh, the first sticker I received uh, is from John Clothier of the Woodworking Shed. Now, John's channel covers uh, a variety of turning projects and also some uh, build-it-yourself projects which are quite interesting. So I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Now the second sticker is from Stuart Furini, Wood Turning. And Stuart specialises in uh, colouring and texturing platters and bowls. So again, a very interesting channel to visit. And again, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Well, I've just returned from holidaying in Wales for a week, and uh, while it was raining, um, I thought I'd put some thought into what to cover in my next wood turning project. And have, having given it some thought, I decided to have a go at pen turning. Now, I've, I've never tried turning a pen before, and following some uh, advice from Paul Lockwood, Paul's got some uh, very good videos covering a variety of subjects um, and again I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Um, after taking his advice I decided to call in at Axminster Tools in Warrington to buy a, a pen making mandrel, I think that's what you call them, and uh, various other bits and pieces. So um, we'll give it a try. So this is what I ended up buying from Axminster. Um, there's a a couple of uh, pen blanks, oak and walnut. There's a, a Euro twist pen in gold. Uh, this is um, a Craft Pro Kits pen kit 210097 and that's the bushing kit that uh, matches that which is 310381. I also got a 7mm drill bit and the um, Evolution pen mandrel The, uh, the guy in the shop was actually very, very helpful. Um, I told him it was my first time at having a go at making a pen. And he, he printed off some uh, pen kit instructions and give, gave me a few tips. I know you can get these online and download them. But, you know, he did go out of his way to help. So uh, that was very much appreciated. So, uh, that's what we've got and uh, we should be good to go. Okay, so the pen kit is made up of two pieces. So I've made a mark here, which is about a millimetre wider than each side of the brass inserts. And now I'll just cut this at that point. Okay, so to uh, drill the pen blanks, I was thinking about using a drill press, but to do it accurately, I really need to make some kind of a jig. Um, so what I've decided to do is drill the blanks on the lathe, but I need to make sure that the centers are lined up accurately. Now on my lathe, the headstock, when you lock it, it can be misaligned. So if I unlock it here, and then tilt the headstock slightly to the right and then lock it. The centre should now be lined up which they are. So now I can go ahead and put a chuck on here and drill out the pen blanks. As this drill bit is quite long I think there might be some flex in it. Could be wrong. Uh, but what I've decided to do first of all is just drill a pilot hole with this shorter 7mm drill bit. Once I've done a pilot, I'll then drill further with this one.
this is turning out to be a bit of a disaster. Uh, the first piece was fairly central, but the second piece has just run out of centre. Maybe I would have been better off spending some time making a jig and doing it on the drill press. Okay, so having um, checked the pen kit, I think I might be able to get away with this uh, hole being so far off centre. So I've decided to continue and I've uh, gone over this with a bit of uh, sandpaper just to rough it up and it's just a matter of sticking these in the pieces of wood. Um, now I know some people use super glue um, but I think I'd be too scared using super glue because it goes off so quickly. Um, I'm just going to use some epoxy resin. Now this is um, very slow to harden um, epoxy resin so that this will have to harden overnight. Um, but anyway, we'll crack on. Sure, we got the right tube for the right piece of wood. Some of the epoxy resin has filled the uh, hole up. A piece of brass, so I'm going to have to sort that out off camera. But anyway, once I've sorted it, I'll just leave that to uh, set overnight. And I'll crack on with the other one. Okay, well I think it's uh, one of those projects that just doesn't want to go right. But anyway, um, I've managed to get the brass tubes inserted into the wood blanks. Um, they're not flush. Um, they go in by about a millimetre at each end so that will allow these faces to be um, sanded and trued up uh, once it's set overnight. Um, by the way that's a shot glass and uh, I think to be honest I could do with a couple now. But anyway um, hopefully these will set overnight and I'll get back to you in the morning. So, uh, hopefully the epoxy resin has set overnight and then I realised, yesterday, that I don't have a table to do sanding with. Um, so I ended up making one. Very simple table. Um, Spot on 90 degrees to the sanding disc, which again I made that, and I've decided to be able to get a proper uh, 90 degree sanding angle. I'm just going to put this on here. Make sure we're at 90 degrees and just clamp it. So hopefully we're good to go on sanding. Well following my pretty disastrous start to drilling pen blanks yesterday I decided to make a, a very simple jig. Um, it's made out of a couple of pieces of wood um, it holds this other pen blank uh, perpendicular to the table and it took me about 10 minutes to make that. So I'll use that for uh, my future pen making projects. So I won't bore you with sanding but uh, the idea here is to sand it down to where the tube is, so it's about a millimetre off that side 
and a millimetre of that end likewise there as well so I'll do the sanding and I'll get back to you so I'm into unknown territory now um, now looking at the instructions the short blank is the top of the pen obviously the long one is the bottom of the pen um, and obviously that's the bottom of the pen and that goes on top of the pen so using my digital calipers I've measured the diameter of this bit here and I found that that matches this bush size here so that bush will have to go there um, this will go there eventually on the pen so that means that that bush needs to go there and that leaves this top bit where this bush matches that diameter so that bushing will go there so what I'll do is just put these on the mandrel okay so just to recap um, that's going to be the top so that diameter matching that diameter bushing that's going to be the middle this is a floating bushing thing so we'll have to see how that works out and the bottom and again the diameter of that may match in the diameter of that so I've tightened up the tail stock it says don't over tighten but you've got to make it so these don't twist so hopefully I've, I've got it about right so let's see how we get on ok I've just realised uh, I got that bushing the wrong way around so uh, I've, I've switched it round now so we'll uh, give it a try ok so to start with I'm just going to uh, do some light cuts with this spindle roughing gouge That seems to be working okay. Um, obviously it's quite off centre is my hole. Um, but I'll continue with the spindle roughing gouge and um, I'll get back to you once I've got them all around. Okay so I'm just going to continue with the uh, scary skew. Okay, so uh, I think I've got the shape I'm looking for here. Um, now I've got to reduce this by a distance of 5.6 millimeters. So I think what I'll do is I'll just do it the width of this parting tool to try and get a snug fit first of all.
7. That's annoying. Well, it's a real shame. Um, when I used the parting tool, I got some, you know, typical sort of tear out here on the edge. What I should have done in hindsight is before using the skew to get this level, I should have left some on here. Use the parting tool and then leveled it off with a skew um, but hey ho you live and learn so I'm just going to do a bit of sanding So this is uh, thin CA. Interesting. So I'm going to continue and put uh, several coats of this on. Now I'm just going to uh, finish it off with a bit of uh, 1000 grit, wet and dry. So again I'm going to take some of Paul Lockwood's advice and put some tea cuts on it, just to finish it off. That's a fantastic finish. Really impressed with that. Well, this is the assembly stage now, so I just need to press this this end into the bottom of the uh, pen. Bring the tailstock up. Make sure everything's straight. Turn the handle. Well, that works well. So the next step is to insert that in here. And it says on the instructions to put a felt tip mark 21 millimeters from the end. It doesn't say which end, but I'm guessing it's that end, the top. So we'll try and press that in now. Oops. what that looks like. That's better. That's spot on now. 
and now it's just a matter of pressing this one on. Well, that looks good. And the top just slots on top. Like that. Brilliant. Well, that was an interesting little project. Uh, first of all, many thanks to Paul Lockwood for the inspiration and the videos is put up on YouTube regarding pen making, they were very, very useful. Um, so what have I learned? First of all, um, use a drill press to drill the holes in the pen blanks. Um, obviously one of the holes I drilled was off centre and I did have alternative plans uh, in relation to the design. And the fact that it was off centre prevented me from actually doing that. Um, secondly, when creating this shoulder here, I used the parting tool, uh, which created some tear out. And in future, when I do that cut, I'll do the cut before finally finishing off with the um, skew chisel. And that way the skew chisel can address any issues. Um, having said that, it's turned out pretty good. And you can't really see uh, much tear out at all. I think the CA glue helped. And thirdly, the um, Axminster Evolution Series pen mandrel I thought was fantastic. I mean I can't compare it with any other pen mandrel out there because I've not used any other one. Uh, but I, I didn't have any issues with that at all so that, that was good. So I hope you found the uh, video interesting and uh, thanks to all my subscribers for subscribing and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up. I hope you like the pen.